Welcome back, Captains. I heard me something rustling over here in the trash can, so I decided to go check it out. I pop that off. I see me a little mouse or a rat in there. I think we need to name this one Speedy. Check him out. He gone. Well, now that that's over, welcome to Credit Card Captain. Everybody's probably wondering why I'm digging around the trap. These two are going to be the star of the show today. They came in here thinking it was nice and easy. I got a rainstorm coming in as well. But they decide to take their time. Now they get some help from the people on the dock over here. The blue team on the left, he's been holding that boat there steady for a while. And the green team comes in and helps him. I think so. It's almost like he's pushing them. Well, they hand him a line and he tries to pull this boat over and struggles with that for a little bit right there. And I think the lady on the boat gets tired of it and she hops off. There you go. She gets that upper body strength over there and yanks that boat right up against the dock right there. Man, I ain't messing with her. If you look above the horizon up there, you can see that rain's coming in the background. Now, she starts to unload the boat. Let me give you guys a credit card captain tip of the week. I put a link in the description so you guys can get one of them life jacket bag holder things. And it'll make it a lot easier. The last thing you want is to have a box that's all soggy and the bottom blows out of it while you're out there on the water. It just makes a mess. Well, back over here to the fun, these guys start to reposition themselves. This guy pulls the strap out of here, tangling it up like it's his first time with a bait caster. Well, he lines up. He's going to try and get in position here. And I think that this, I think this boat's just going to struggle this one all the way through it. Now if you don't see what's happening in the background, the water texture is changing a little bit, and that's called rain. It's coming. Now thankfully I'm under the bridge here and it's nice and sheltered. Does the old quick panic, throw the line over to her right over there. She slips, almost goes in. And man, I'll tell you what, she's lucky that that toe wasn't near that cleat. If you've ever stubbed your toe on a cleat, oh, it'll get you to bleep some words out. Now the green team's still working on their boat over here. It's just sitting there. She hops off. The original blue team on the left over there, they're still working on the boat. I sped it up. They spent about 15 minutes trying to get this thing lined up and in here. That trailer's about 16 feet too deep in the water.
pair up and come over here and give this guy a hand. They see he's having some trouble. And just like that, Florida weather disappears and it's back to sunny, hot, and humid. Now their auto docking system failed to initialize right here, so that line's just going to fall in the water. Well, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but both of them on the left-hand side of the boat, they're long jump champions. There's one. There's two. Now Pops throws that thing in reverse when it's off the dock like that. Gives them a little run for their money to bring it in nice and snug. from the parking lot. Well, actually, he's driving a Subaru. Comes in a nice 12 and a half degree angle right to the edge of the boat ramp there and slides it in. Stops, goes, stops, goes, stops, goes, stops, goes. Now he's got to be driving with two feet. Well, they slowly get it back down there right there, and that is real close to the boat ramp. He cranks those wheels over the right, and that guy's telling him to stop. But Pops ain't listening. He moves up just a little bit and gets in the same position that he was in just a second ago. I think at this point, this guy's just giving up right there. Look at it flexing it back. Man, you got to be careful with that guide pole. That thing right there will spring back and launch you right over to the island. Well, Pops hops out of the car there and takes a look at his work of art. They do a little bit more figuring on how to get this thing on the trailer here. And now I don't know if he's waiting for someone to hook the boat up and put the safety chains on, but maybe he's going to get down there and do it soon. I mean, it's your boat ramp. Take your time, but hurry up. Well, he takes one more gander at this paint drying right here, and he's going to finally get this thing out of here. Now, let me show you how it's done. Well, this one's just a nice smooth one right here on this bay boat that comes in. He's got his lady friend out there in the front guiding him in real nice and slow. 
She gives him the hand gesture, tells him just a little bit more. And boom. Thumbs up. That's how it is. She hooks a safety chain up and they zip this bad boy out of here. Speaking of safety, it's always really good to strap your boats down and make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. You want to do it from the front and then the front and then maybe in the front. And you also want to crank down on it like your life depends on it. Well, I think that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'll leave you with this one here. I'll see you guys on the next one. We'll be out next weekend and maybe during the week to catch some of them new credit card captains.